Most guys think they can't grow taller after 18, but what if I told you your bones can still grow if you know how to trigger it? Don't believe me? Look at Devin Larratt, the world-class arm wrestler. His dominant arm is literally longer than his other arm, not because of genetics, but because years of arm wrestling applied constant mechanical stress on that arm. And that's exactly what Wolf's Law says. Your bones remodel, adapt, and change based on the stress you apply to them, which means your bones are not fixed. They can grow when stimulated the right way. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use this law to grow taller, even if it's just two to three inches. Let's start. 1. Growth Plates The first and most important thing for height growth is your growth plates. They're what help you grow taller. For most men, growth plates close between the ages of 18 to 20, and once they close, your height stops increasing, no matter what you do. But here's something interesting. There's actually a way to keep your growth plates open longer, sometimes till the age of 23, or even 28 in rare cases. Think back to school. Remember how in 7th grade, most girls were taller than boys? But by 10th grade, the boys suddenly caught up and became taller. That's because girls' growth plates close faster, mainly due to the hormone estrogen. And here's what science says. If you can reduce estrogen levels and increase testosterone naturally, you can keep your growth plates open for a longer time, which means you can grow taller for a few more years. So here's what to do. Avoid soy foods, things like soy chunks, tofu, and soy milk. These can slightly increase estrogen in your body. Sweat more. The more you sweat, the more estrogen your body releases. So play sports, run, or train hard daily. Focus on lower body exercises, like sprinting and skipping rope. They boost testosterone and improve growth hormone naturally. Eat foods rich in protein and zinc, such as eggs, chicken, lentils, pumpkin seeds, and fish. These nutrients support testosterone production and bone growth. And if you want a detailed guide on how to increase testosterone naturally, watch the video I've linked in the description. 2. Adaptive Remodeling Your body is amazing. It adapts to whatever you do repeatedly, and this same rule applies to height as well. Look at the Netherlands. They have some of the tallest people in the world. One big reason? Cycling is a daily habit there. When you cycle, your legs stretch again and again. Over time, your bones slowly reshape to make that movement easier. This process is called adaptive remodeling. Your bones adjust based on the stress you put on them. To get the best results, you can increase the height of your cycle seat. A higher seat gives your legs maximum stretch every time you pedal. More stretch equals more stimulus equals better adaptation. This is the same reason giraffes have long necks. They constantly stretch upward to eat leaves from tall trees. Over generations, their bones adapted and grew longer. Here's how you should cycle. Increase your seat height so that when the pedal is at the lowest point, your leg becomes straight, not bent. This gives you the perfect stretch for adaptive growth. Do this every day and increase the seat height a little bit more every month. With time, your legs will adapt and grow to match the stretch you're giving them. 3. Maasai Jumps Maasai tribe is known for their tall height and vertical jumps. Their average height is 6 feet 3, and that's because they keep jumping. Jumping causes microfractures in your shin bone, which leads into the lengthening of the bone, hence making you taller. But still, microfractures can be harmful, so let's jump safely. Do three sets of 30 jumps every day. Combined with cycling, you can easily gain 3 to 4 inch easily at any age, as this is growing the bone, which doesn't require the growth plates to be open. 4. Resources. If you want your body to grow, you have to give it the right resources. Your bones can't grow if they don't have the nutrients and signals they need. First, get sunlight every day. Sunlight gives you vitamin D, which is one of the most important nutrients for height and bone growth. Look at the Maasai tribe. They stay in the sun all day, and their bodies get plenty of vitamin D naturally. Next, add non-veg and dairy to your diet. The Maasai also eat a lot of red meat and drink milk daily. These foods are rich in protein, calcium, iron, and healthy fats all of which help your bones get stronger and grow properly. Add boron in your diet. It helps your body use vitamin D better and supports bone development. You can get boron from simple foods like black raisins, nuts, and avocados. These are small additions, but they make a big difference in your growth. That's it. If you want me to create a detailed guide on estrogen elimination, then comment and make sure to subscribe because in future, I'm going to drop more value like this.